Well, I think uh, Amazon had a very strong results, and I think if I look at what uh, 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 I was not entirely surprised because if I look at uh, my own kids' wish list um, on Amazon, then um, I can see that they only got part of what they wanted. So I'm. Uh, was not surprised about the strong results, and I'm very optimistic about the overall outlook for the business just based on uh, my own experience. But if you look at the growth rates that they've had, then they've been extremely strong, as you've highlighted, across the board. Um, if you think a business of that scale that can grow its overall revenues by 20%, that can grow something like AWS and cloud, where it's just beginning the outsourcing uh, by the 40% that it did, and it can double the advertising revenues, which are almost entirely profit. So if you think of it, it uh, was $3 billion, that's $12 billion annualized at pure profits. Uh, that's an enormous contribution. As the scale grows, that's going to become more difficult. But we take a very long-term view. We've been invested for over 10 years. And so if you think of the prospects that they have in terms of the growth in each of those areas, I think they're very strong. And we think that uh, those prospects will continue. Invested in Amazon for 10 years. Well, that sounds like a good trade. <laughs> <laughs> to Elizabeth's point about how Amazon has branched into so many different sectors now, and to Jamana's point earlier, from an valuation perspective, when you're looking at this as an analyst or an investor, does it? Is it possible to expertly value each of those businesses, given it falls into so many different categories? It's businesses that require a very different approach in terms of valuing the underlying businesses. So does the market value Amazon correctly? Well, I think that's important what view you take and how you look at things over the long term. The way we do is we think about what businesses can do over 5, 10, and 25 years. Jeff Bezos himself has said that when they congratulate him about a good quarter, he's working on a quarter that is three or five years from now, mm -hmm. um, not what just got reported. So yes, you can look at the individual business and, and you can value them. You can take views on the amount of money that they're making. You can make views on the amount of money that they're spending in order to generate the revenues that they do. And you can then think of what those prospects are. So we effectively do a sum of the parts valuation for Amazon. Uh, we add up those numbers and we get to uh, share prices that are very significantly higher than the current one. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.